Greetings, beautiful people. I Cozy Cottage here. How's everybody doing? I know it's been a while. I have been taking a long break. Um, even though I let you guys know that I've been getting I'll be getting on from time to time because I am in the process of uh, doing some changes in my life and it's making me put a little more work in and um it's all good so i won't be able to really be popping out videos um like i have been but i'm still going to be doing some videos because i don't want to um be too long of a space of a time between not putting out one i put out a couple short ones check them out you might like them but um, I um, just want to get on and chit chat with you for a few minutes. Um, I had a four day, um, I guess I can say, I guess four day holiday weekend. Um, been off since um, Thursday. I worked on Wednesday, but got off at three o'clock. Um, my normal time is four, but my boss let me off a little earlier and I went and picked up a few things um, from the grocery store and went home and been home since um, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I did leave out um, on Saturday just for a few minutes, go visit a friend for an hour or so and then come back. Um, went to church today but it just seemed like it just went too fast <sighs> do you guys ever feel that way like um you know you might even have a week off like a vacation or something and just seem like it's like you're excited you're ready to go and you look at wow i got five days but it's like it just feel like you only had one day it just seemed like it goes too fast. I have off weekends anyway. So I um, had off the Thursday and Friday. And plus the Saturday and Sunday I normally have off. And it was a nice four days. But it was just too, too short. And I hate that. Uh, I um, really would like to take off an extra day tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. I might just go ahead and go in and start my week off. Um, but it's all good. But it was too short. But it still was nice. Um, I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. Normally my sister, she cooks during the holiday, Thanksgiving holiday. And um, I might cook something and go over and take and eat with them um but um she went to my other nieces um which is about an hour away from me and truly i just didn't feel like driving that far i didn't feel like really leaving it far my sister's not too far from me but um so i just stayed home and um i cooked my own little dinner Cooked me some chicken and dumplings from scratch. Um, everything was done by scratch. Um, you know, I do a little something. A little something, something every now and then. I cooked some chicken and dumplings and some um, collard greens and kale greens. Uh, cooked some um, yams. And um, what else did I cook? Mmm, you know, something else. Oh, some biscuits from scratch. Yes. I want to tell you guys about it. It was my first time cooking um, some biscuits. I, I love me some biscuits, but I always wanted to do them from scratch. And I found on this YouTube channel by this older lady. And she, um, she's a sweetheart. And she, um, she has this two ingredient biscuits um from scratch and um i said 
wow, I always wanted to cook biscuits. And never knew how they would really turn out. I <laughs> said, so I'll probably cook them in the way they'd be so hard I can throw, throw it to the, at the wall and it'll bounce off the wall. <laughs> but um, her ingredients was so easy. It was just two ingredients. And um, it was real easy for me because um, for some reason I do pretty good at um, dealing with flour and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. I just do because I make my own dumplings from scratch and I love making dumplings. And everybody loves my dumplings when I make them. So I have to tell you guys the ingredients. You might want to try it yourself some biscuits, but I'm going to actually do it and do a video of it so you guys can see and pull them biscuits out the oven. Yeah. So I had some biscuits and. I didn't cook a whole lot. It was just just that little bit, and it was it was enough that I ate off for those four days. Um, I finished eating everything actually today. <laughs> I finished eating everything actually today, but um, I didn't cook the biscuits actually. I didn't cook them on Thursday. I cooked the biscuits on. Saturday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, one of the mornings um, for breakfast. So I had um, Uncle Turkey Bacon and Scrambled Eggs, and it was really good. I tell you, I was so proud of myself doing those biscuits. I was like, oh man, Vanna, you did a good job. But anyway, I had to do a video on those. But I just kind of relaxed, did more cooking than I wanted to those days. Uh, seemed like I was mostly in the kitchen, in the living room, chilling and watching movies and stuff. And I just pretty much basically said, Vana, you're not doing any type of work. Um, you're just giving your brain a break because I felt like I was a little overload and getting a little burnt out and I needed to kind of recharge refresh so I can start over again and start this weekend <clears throat> this week because like I said the things that I'm doing I'm, um, I'm basically putting in some classes and stuff that I have to do and putting in some hours so I had to take a break so that's what I did. I took a little break and um, I feel pretty good. I feel a little refreshed. I just feel like I could do two more days, but um, you know how that go. But Lord willing, um, I'll be letting you guys know how everything is going with that. And um, um, just trying to work out some things in my life to better my life. But anyway, um, I went to church today, and it was beautiful. We're back to two services now on um, Sundays now. Um, I have morning service and not evening service, but I'm glad we have we have early evening service now. So I'm still able to get home by uh, 4.30. You know, something to five depends on when I walk out of there because a lot of times after service, we just chit chat with one another before we get out of there. So <clears throat> I like the fact that um, could normally um, normally we um, start even we used to start even service about five o'clock and then we went to four o'clock. But now um, um, under the minister's discretion, um, he's he's doing it early now because we're starting um uh our morning service a little early now uh and the morning service normally start at 11 um uh but now he backed it up to 10 o'clock so our evening service starts at 2 30 so i kind of like that you know that way we can still get home during the daylight hours and and just chill and not only that um, we tune into, um, our services with our, um, overseer, our pastor and general overseer, um, at the headquarters or wherever he may be teaching at times. Um, so 
we get some double whammies on some day. So it's all good. The word of God is good. Mm. But um, I'm just kind of chilling, relax, as you guys see. Um, I think I'm going to get ready to... Um, um, close my eyes for tonight, get some rest so I can start fresh in the morning and start work because I really don't feel like going. I want another day, but, um, it is what it is, you know, but I'm just been relaxing all weekend and it feels good to do that. So I'm still in that relaxed mode. And now I got to shake it off and get into that get up and go mode. <laughs> Just not ready for it yet. But anyway, Lord willing, tomorrow morning I will be. But um, how you guys been doing? How's everybody doing? Um, I don't know. Say something in my, my comments. Say something in chat. Let me know how you guys are doing. How was your holiday um, Thanksgiving weekend? Uh, did you guys cook or did you go over families? Did you cook a little something? Take two families. What what did you do? Um, a friend of mine had uh, cooked some potato salad and went to his family's. But um, I went over there Saturday, checked on him. Um, and um, he had plenty of potato salad. Well, he made some extra potato salad because he know I love his potato salad. So um, he had some for me. And um, I've been wearing that out. I, I have still so I have some left. I'm probably take that rest of that work with me tomorrow. Um, but, um, yeah. So it wasn't a bad four days. Short, but all good but i hope you guys enjoyed your um days off if you had any days off or and you enjoy your time with family or whether you're alone um like i said i i was home alone and i don't mind being i'm a loner anyway guys it's just just what it is that's why you see me i'm alone all the time um every now and then i get together with family um you know, and that's always good because I love my family. I do love them. And, um, but most of the time I'm just chilling here home and I don't mind it. It's just, mm, it's just me. I don't, I don't mind, um, being alone. And, uh, you know, it's at times that, um, I don't mind company or we love company or whatever, but, um, being alone doesn't like make me sad. It is, it's just like, it's kind of peaceful, cozy. I can sit back and watch TV. It's peace and quiet and do whatever, you know, I even make some phone calls, chit chat. And, and I'm, it's just me, you know, you know, Lord willing someday, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows i i i may be um anyway i ain't even gonna go there <laughs> i ain't even gonna get to that situation right now um but anyway um i was home cooked my own little um dinner and just chill like i always do basically i'm always home alone i am an introvert if you guys wonder, I am. I'm an introvert, and but think about it, I can be extrovert when needed, you know. But um, I would say eighty percent of the time, I'm an introvert because I am a loner, and and um and I love it. Um, I'm mostly, you know, and even. At times, you know, even if I'm in a crowd and stuff, it's all good because I'm good at that time. But then it'll be uh, something to trigger in my brain saying like, okay, it's time to go. It's time to go back to my little corner. <laughs> 
It's just that introvert life that, you know, that sticks with you. But, um, but would Vana ever want a husband or, um, and live with someone, live with a husband, not live with someone, but it would have to be my husband. Um, sure. You know, that's different, <clears throat> but from where I'm not, you know, married, nothing like that. I am good being alone and, um, it's, I've done it for years, so it's normal to me, and I know I'm not alone. I know God is with me, and um, when I need him, he's there to comfort me. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. I went longer than I wanted to, and um, but... As always, guys, as I always said, never give up. God can deliver you from anything. If it's his will, you continue to seek after him, strive for him, and live for him. Don't let him go. We need him, y'all. We need him. And the way this world is today, we need, truly need God in our lives. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful week. And Lord willing, I'll be talking to you soon. Peace.